At the world, I thought I was tough, thought I was bad, thought I was the best thing there was. I was skinny then. But I'll tell you one thing, you had to be in shape to be in the army recruiter under me. You had to look good and smell good and do good. But I thought I had the world by the September, but I didn't. Brother S.T. Jennings, I don't know if you know Brother S.T., he just kept witnessing me. Ronnie Trent kept witnessing to me. Ralph Taylor, Taylor kept witnessing to me. I said, leave me alone. I'm all right. I'm okay. No, I wasn't okay. So I told my wife, I'll tell you, you're going to show me here. I told my wife, I said, get me a tie. Get me a tie and I go to church with you. These guys are not leaving me alone. I go to church with you. I went to church and I heard the word of God, and I made, I made an a, a, a expression that I thought I was saved. But when God came in, I went into that church. I said, I'm going to whip that preacher when we go in there. He's preaching on long-haired women, long-haired men. And I, I, don't want, I don't like it. I'm a short guy now, but I'm a fighter. Not no more. I'm 77. But I just tell you something right now. I went in that church, Mesmerola's girls and Rainbow girls were singing. And they were giving their testimony. Giving their testimony about being prostitutes, being drug addicts. Y'all just gonna hold my heart. Come on, brother. I was sitting in the back, and I'm a Yankee, and I don't say nothing like you. I'm talking about this thing here. God just come on me and said, it's you I'm talking to. You can say, say it was McDonald's attack or anything you want to say it was. Yeah, I mean, it was a God impressing black man yeah. telling me that I was a lost without him. Yeah. And he came to me. I believe I was saved before I got to him front. I believe God got a hold of me good. Yeah. I believe I got a piece of God with me. Yeah. I've been preaching now for 43 years. God has given me. But he gave me a godly wife, and she was a prayer warrior. And let me tell you something about her. Right. <laughs> For 50 years, she put up with this old fat man. But she was a good woman, and she was an interceder with God. And she'd get a hold of him, and she'd ask her to pray, she'd pray. And she'd get a hold of God, and she could get in tune with God. My two daughters now are married to preachers, and they're pastors. And my grandchildren, my grandchildren are married to preachers now. I'll tell you something. If you listen to God and let him walk with you, let him talk with you, and let him help you. Let me tell you something, friend. If you surrender tonight to God, there might be one in tonight that need to surrender. I believe God's dealing with folks in here tonight. We heard the word today. We heard the word, but if you don't do it, now's the time. These are the end times. This is the last stage. I'm telling you, friend, people don't want to read the Bible no more. Amen. They don't want to do what God wants them to do. My friend, the Holy Spirit, he said he'd leave you a comforter. And he leaves you a comforter and indweller. You preached on that, Brother Hobbs. I remember you preaching that. He's an indweller Savior. He's the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. All three in one. And he will be there. He'll help you. I believe that's it, brother. Amen. All right.